What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're over Kusame or KSM down 1.8% at $34.16. I went over this in the live stream yesterday. I said at the end of the live stream, I think the most important thing to take away was our conversation on Kusame. It's looking like a great long opportunity. I'm not long on it yet. I mentioned where I was going to get long on it if we reach that area. I'm still bullish on it, still waiting for my entry for my long. And that's kind of what this video is for. So we're down 1.8%, has 10 million max supply. 8.9 million coins in circulation and a 305 million market cap. I love how the circulating and max supply are so low and how they're so close together it means they can't manipulate the price by dropping more coins. The all-time high was 621, top of the last bull run. All-time low was three years ago at 87 cents. Currently available on the following exchanges down here. A Digibyte, Chiefnex, Kraken, Max. So let's get into Kusame. So Kusame right now is talking about the three wise men, Billy Bob and Joe right here. We have um, the buy signal on the WTX that flashed. We have the buy signal on the RSI V swap that flashed. And we just had a bullish crossover that flashed. Those three, every time I see those, that's where I want to try to enter into a long. The only thing that's kind of stopping me about putting my entry in right now is this double resistance area at the 786. I mentioned this yesterday. I'm not going to put my long in until we get over the 786. We kind of have this triple resistance of the of $35.19. We have the main resistance, we have a 786, and we have this downtrend. I think we can break through it, but what I wanted to point out is last time we had the three wise men right here, we had a buy signal on WTX on October 13th. We had a buy signal on the V-Swap October 13th. We had a bullish cr crossover on the MACD October 13th. And from that point, this thing shot up approximately 16%. So see, see if you enter along at 5x or higher, whatever percentage that is, it times it by that much, times it by that much for the profit. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking for here. My entry into a long on Kusame, that is why I'm kind of looking to it. We got three flashes right here once again, which would initiate a takeoff. We just look at the general past area too. Last time we got the three wise men back here on October, on September 19th, we had a buy on the WTX. We had a buy on the RSI V swap. And then we had the bullish crossover right here on the MACD. So if I just break out my pencil, <laughs> you can see we had the bullish crossover right here. It goes down, we had the buy signal on the V swap, and then we had the buy signal on the WTX. And that was right here at the bottom on the 19th. And if we would have rode that out, entered along right there, and we rode it out, that would have been that would have been a good one. I mean, you could have rode that thing out 33% to the upside. And the thing that I like about shorts and longs on this coin is it's a low circulating supply coin. It only has a couple million in it, which means the price can move, can fluctuate large percentages compared to trying to longer short ones that have like a billion or a couple billion coins. When you find a coin that has a small circulating supply and a somewhat small market cap, such as 300 million like this one, the price can fluctuate pretty heavily to the up and down sign. So that's why you kind of have to use the indicators. So I'm currently going to be entering along on here once we get up to this general crossover area at around 35.25. We get back up to 35.25, I'm going to enter. Yeah, I will, probably won't be making as much profit if I just listen to these indicators and played it off of this buy on the WTX, buy on the VSwap, and buy on the MACD. It's just I'm kind of concerned about this triple resistance area that we're going to be testing on this. I mean, as you can see, each time this has happened, it's played out to an upside move. But each time this has happened, we have not had a triple resistance to get over. So I don't know how that's going to really play out. And until I see how it's going to play out, I'm not comfortable quite entering yet until we get up to around 35.25. Yeah, I'll miss out on some profit if we take off, but so be it. And if we do take off, I think we'll head up to the 618, and that's the highest that we'll go. So from here, if we entered, we'd have approximately a 7% gain. Um, so 7% times 5, that wouldn't be bad. And then just continue, continue running it up to 13 maybe even 16 to this resistance. So that'd be your take profit. Uh, so similar times that it crossed over, we had some mad gains right here. This is the one time it crossed over, it was up 33%. Last time it crossed over was right here was, what, 16%. So 16% is definitely doable. And you can see we definitely ran up right there. So if we did another 16% right here, that would bring us up to this main resistance area at uh 39.75 so it's definitely doable that we're gonna be seeing a move up to 39.75 uh that would be a great long in opportunity in my personal opinion that's not financial advice so with that that is 
my plan going forward for KSM right there. Um, if you have any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, uh, make sure you post them in my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description.